this is how I do the bottom on a rabbit. Now she's kind of feisty. She's been on the table for about an hour. So I expect her to misbehave. And that's kind of why I want to do the video with her. Sometimes people get rabbits that just don't want to behave. Now I'm holding, she's got a messy bottom. She has, um, she's known for doing that. Now I've got my hand on her bottom, holding her like this. Now I'm gonna lay her down. That's where her back is resting on the table. I'm gonna reach up, I'm gonna grab her ears, and the scruff of her neck, and lean her back until she quits fighting me. Now check out all this hair. If she'll let me, I can harvest that. If not, it's just gonna be waste. Now I am not holding her weight, I'm just holding her ears basically to hold her still. And I'm not pushing the clippers to her skin because I have had too many of them where they jerk and I've cut their belly. So I try to be really gentle and just go above the skin and kind of guide it along. This is how I groom the belly of a rabbit. And she flipped. And we might have to do this again. got to be careful though because they they can break their back so I don't want her to flop around too much I'm gonna try it a different way um she's really good if I hold her in my arm cradle her like a baby I'm sure you can see it and then I can do this free up my hand again always be careful with them on their back Try to have a hold of them pretty good. I've got her where I'm holding her um, with my arms. And that's pretty much it. I had her shaved down here before. When I do a maintenance clip, I just take everything off of the feet. Anywhere it can get matted up. Now if you want. To know how to hold that leg out put your hand down here hold tight and push down on the knee put your finger up here so you're pushing down above the knee holding your index finger underneath the rest of the leg and it will hold the leg still and straight and I can get all that nasty stuff out from under her all that matting they can look really pretty on top and nasty on the bottom if they're not kept up and this one here, it doesn't matter how often I groom her, she gets yucky on the bottom. She just does. We changed food recently too, so that could be a part of it. I just guide this. I don't push it up against her skin. Because if I do, there is a chance I could cut her. I don't want to cut her vent. Actually, I don't want to cut her anywhere. And that's one leg. And just clean up the other side. Now that I got off what I wanted, I can cut it a little shorter. Now, if it was summertime, I would clean her up and put her in a little lion clip, but I don't think she really cares what she looks like. <laughs> so we're just gonna do a maintenance clip on her and clean up the yuckies and put a sweater on her. Oh yes, toenails. Find the toenail clippers. Toenails. I'll do that in a minute. It's a baby girl. I guess I'm not gonna keep any of this. I'm gonna show you how to do um, another way. Get them to rest on their butt and you can hold them like this and you can groom with one hand underneath, like this. And another thing I do is I hold hold back on the ears till they lift, and I can run the clipper underneath their chin, not lifting her up, just pulling back enough for her to hold her head up. Run the clipper sideways on both sides. And then down in between the legs, she's gonna let me turn that off 
Yep, there we go. And now that cleans her up, and I don't have to flip her on her back to do that part. The rest of it I can do from the side, just like this. And that is basically getting the underside of the rabbit groomed, if you can get the gist of that.